okay now we're going to take um, we're going to have a different scenario where we look at how many um, users we need in our networks so we need seven networks this time the same seven networks except our networks are different sizes and you'll see this scenario on the CCNA at least I don't know probably at least three or four times but it really applies to everything that Cisco CCNA is all about as far as like subnetting and being able to see networks where networks start and stop so it's really important if you're gonna um, take that uh, certification exam so here you go let's say on this network over here we need 128 users and then we need two users basically just point-to-point -point links in between the three routers so two hosts you know basically an IP address for this uh, interface and IP address for this interface so that's two IP addresses right so just two users essentially right IP address here IP address there here 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 so two two and two then over on this network 64 and then over this network we have uh, we need 32 users right right and over here we need 16 users and it'll be a little bit different um, you know you could actually say well we need 120 it'll say something like you need 100 and 20 users you know or they'll say on the CCNA that you need 60 users not 64 and this will say there's 30 people in their network right and on this one you know not 16 but they have 13 uh, stations that with 13 computers so we need 13 IP addresses for this network okay because we can never actually get 128 we can only get 126 so let's divide the network up and that basically what we're doing is we're essentially doing variable length subnet masks so I'm just gonna go from largest to smallest and for the first network 192.168.1 I'll start with the zero network okay so this will be the zero network and it will be slash 25 okay why is that well I'll put it right here um, the 192.168.1.0 zero slash 25 means that on my um, subnet mask I'm going to have it will be 128 subnet mask right meaning that the binary in the last octet will look like this one zero 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 so I've only borrowed one bit from the um, last octet I've only borrowed one bit from the last octet and that bit is in the 128th place so that'll make 128 users out of those 128 users 126 are usable because we need a uh, the first address for the network number and the last address is the broadcast address so this will be the zero network slash 25 then I'm gonna go to the next largest network the uh, the um, and I'm going to make this network let's see here the 128 network that's where the next network will start and we need 60 users so it needs to be size 64 so it'll be slash 26 right so the next network will start at 192.168.1.128 and it will be slash 26 now why is that well slash 26 means I've borrowed two bits off the last um, octet in decimal form it would look like this All right 26 255 255 255 192 meaning 8 bits 8 bits 8 bits that's 24 bits here and then I borrowed two more 25 and 26 right the magic number in this case is this is the 128th place this is the 64th place the magic number is 64 so I'll get 64 hosts or 64 users out of this network okay the next one I'll go to will be the next highest one uh, 30 users and that network will start at 192 just like it says right there and it will actually be slash 27 okay so that'll be 92.168.1.192 slash 27 the magic number in this case right here 
will be um, magic number will be 32, 128's place, 64's place, 32's place. Magic number is 32. In decimal form, it would look like this. And it would give me 32 hosts. Okay? The next network over here, let's say, of 13 users, which will be, we'll go to the 16 bit. So this one will start. Let's see here. 192 as 32. We'll start at 224. It'll be slash 28, and it'll give me 16 users. All right. Um, in in um, decimal form, it'll be the 240. The binary would look like this. We borrowed four bits now. It's actually a slash 28. Right. And I'll put it up here too. 192.168.1.224 slash 28. And that means the magic number is now 128, 64, 32, 16. It'll give me 16 hosts starting at 224. That's the uh, network number. And, uh, and 16 hosts from 224 to uh, 239. 239 will be the broadcast address. So that leaves me for my last four networks. Uh, let me see how much time I have. Okay. Uh, for the last four networks, we'll start at, we'll count 16 up. 224 plus 16 is 240. So the next network will be 240. And this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump all the way over to a slash 30 because I only need two hosts, two usable addresses, which is perfect for a slash 30, which gives me four hosts, two of which are usable. So that works out just perfect. So starting at 240, I'll do a slash 30. So let's put it here. 192.168.1.240 slash 30. In decimal, it'll be the 252 network. And what this looks like in binary is this. So I've borrowed now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 bits. The magic number is the 4 bit, which gives me a ho uh, network the size of 4 hosts only. So there's that. Now, the last two networks are pretty simple. This one will be this one right here will be the 244 network slash 30. This one will be the 248 network slash 30. And all I have to do is add those in. So the next one's 244. The next one's, uh, the following one is 248 slash 30. And the last one, 248 slash 30. 30. So now I have seven networks, right? All are a different size. Subnet mask, but not but none of the networks cross over. In other words, they all use a different address space that's not conflicting. And that's a variable length subnet mask network. We used a slash 25, a slash 26, a slash 27, slash 28, and three slash 30s to get networks for the, to accommodate the size of 120 users, 60 users, 30 users, 13 users, and three point-to-point -point links in between.